Hello and welcome to AutoCAD Civil 3D 2011 006 Creating a Surface from a Point Cloud Right, first of all we need to import the Point Cloud So we all, all we do is go to the Prospector tab Point Clouds, right click, Create a Power Point Cloud Give it a name Point Cloud 1 and it's Wizard Base You can see from the drop down that we've got all the common types of point cloud formats that you can use. I'm going to particularly use a PTS one, and I'm just going to bring in a point cloud and just finish it. And what will happen now is that Silvers is reading the point cloud, gives you the uh, notification there that it's done, zoom extent, and it creates the point cloud in there. Now you can see there if we go to view, if we go to Southwest Ice Mint Asterisk, you can see that we've got 3D view as well of that, shows all the all the data that's in that uh, point cloud. We can also if we go to a left view, we can get a left view of that. Also while we're in left view we can look at the style of that point cloud and I can put that we see there's a basic level range style do a regen and it color codes it according to, to levels but, uh, change that back to let's just um, cancel that one wrong button let's just go back to point cloud and change that to a single color do a regen and back to the view and if we do top view and we see that we've got the whole area. The area I'm interested in is this junction area and if I zoom into that, if I select one of the points you can see that we've got a point density. Now if I just temporarily change that to 100, it's always best to keep it down to 10%, just allows your model to, to move that much more freely. Um, while it's re rebuilding, so just wait, get the view that you want up it to 100% of the density. And what we can do if we change that to an intensity style, it should pick up all the different intensities within the, the point cloud. Now, we'll do a quick regen, um, and then what you should see is we should be able to start picking out quite quite fine detail from the point cloud. There we go. Even starting to pick out the white lines, road markings, um, edge of curbs, and all that that much easier. So it's a lot, lot easier. So, but I wouldn't recommend keeping it at 100%. I'll sort of drop it down to 10%. You can still see your detail, so it's it's not really an issue. Um, what I'm going to do before I build my surface is just to turn that back to a single color. Okay. To do the um, to surface. All I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a polyline and I'm going to just go to the the area that I'm interested in. I'm just interested in this junction area of the carriageway. So I'm just going to give that. And I'll close that. So if I now select one of the one of the points, you can see that on the contextual ribbon we've got add points to surface. If I select that. I can give it a name, point cloud surface. I could have a style if I wanted, and I'll leave it triangulation. And I'm going to select object, defining object. I'm going to just select me polyline, and next, and finish. And that will create a normal civil surface. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually turn the remainder of the point cloud off so that it makes makes life a bit easier for, for working in and if I now go to my surfaces and point cloud surfaces in there and if I go to the boundaries and if I add an outer boundary to, this, to the same polyline if I can find it there it is and that will trim that trim that out 
there you go, simple as that. Start doing your normal analysis or whatever you need to do from a surface. Thank you.